Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So before we begin, I need your help. I need you right now to go down to the comment section and pick one of these three options. So I've got a few different things to show you in the future with this auction haul. I've got a few different videos I want to do, but I want to know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see, first of all, silver plate? toys or brass which one of those do you want to see first which one of those do you want the next video to be the one with the most votes down in the comment section will obviously win and then i will do that haul specifically first off so with that being said i will get on with today's haul i've got a load of different royal crown derby to show you so yeah without further ado i'll just get on with it now i'm going to be going down there a lot so i'll try and crop that out of the video as much as i can so guys first item is just this little all that side plate nothing really really special i'm going to be looking at about 10 or 15 pound on that i'll just give you a good look at it there you can see there's sort of like a gold uh, rim design on it and there's gold all in here uh, and you can see there's loads of flowers and leaves and all that sort of stuff on it you know quite nice but nothing really special so as i say going about 10 or 15 pound on that one so next is this uh, plate here. This one's eluding me a little bit. I know that this is 1954 going off the back. It actually has a Roman numeral date system with this uh, Royal Crown Derby that I found out from a website I just recently looked at. Um, so I know it's from 1954, but there's none on eBay and um, as I say, I don't really know the price of this one, but it is really nice. You can see there, it's got floral design in the middle, and it's got like sort of a gold rim on it. So um, yeah, basically, I'm thinking about twenty pounds, something like that. Um, I'm not thinking it would be worth too much more than that, maybe twenty five. Um, but I'll have to see. I'll have to do a bit more research into that. But there it is. There, really nice looking plate, as you can see. So next is uh, something that's a little bit more standard. It's just a sort of a dinner plate, this one. Again, Royal Crown Derby, all this stuff I'm showing you is. It's still got a fairly nice design on it, but it's nothing really, really special. Um, but I'm looking about £10 plus postage on this one. I don't think I'll be able to squeeze too much more out of that, but still quite a nice little plate, even though, you know, even though it's pretty standard, it's still quite a nice little plate. So this is one I actually really like. It's not necessarily really valuable or anything. It's just got a nice design. Am I holding it? There we go. That's a bit more of the right way. Uh, you can see there's birds on there. I'm not sure, too sure what birds they are, um, but there's birds on there. It's got, a, again, like a little gold rim on it. And uh, there's loads of flowers in there. It's a nice floral design with the birds on as well. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's uh, actually turn that round for you there it's old Avesbury or Ivesbury I never know how to put it. I think it's Avesbury um but yeah so that's really nice I'm looking at about 10 to 20 pound on that I'm thinking of going more of the top top end though I have seen one go for 10 but I have also seen one go for 20 so I will probably try the top end of that so yeah quite a nice little item there so this one is a derby I said derby Derby border. I, I always say derby. I don't know why. I look at I look at derby and I always say derby. Um, obviously the the derby again derby. The derby border is this sort of rim round here. Just the design. Uh, you know nothing really really special. But I have seen it go for fifteen pound. And again uh, that is the back there. Der derby border. Don't know whether that's going to focus very well, but yeah, still, it's a nice little plate, but nothing really, really special. So again, about £15 on that one. So next is this Wedgwood, I can never pronounce this, but Achoria, I think it's pronounced, I'm not 100% sure, we'll just go with that. Um, so yeah, this is to commemorate the 25th wedding anniversary of Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip. Um, seems like there's a lot listed, but I can't really find any sold. So I'm thinking of going quite low on this at maybe £10 plus postage, maybe £15. There are some listed for £25. However, if there's no sold information, I can't shoot for that much knowing that, as I say, none of none have really ever sold. So um, I've got to go in low on that one and hope that it gets picked off at some point. But still, it's an okay little item. Next, again, just a, another little sort of side plate. I'm probably going to go about 
10 or 15 pound on this it's similar to kind of the amari style it has a bit of that look to it um i did actually just type in the number that's on the back which is two four it's either a five or an eight and then a one so i typed in two four five one and actually what I pulled up was a bundle of two plates actually two five two four five one and two four eight one so i actually found this plate in the bundle so i'm thinking about 10 or 15 pound on that plate as i mentioned quite a nice little plate there so next is i believe this is a soap dish i'm not 100 percent sure um it's kind of the right size for a soap dish there um, and this is Derby Poses. Now some of the stuff from this sort of line, this sort of design um, goes quite well, you know there's teapots and stuff that go for 30, 40 quid um, but I just because of what it is, it's only a little soap dish, I can't see this being a lot of money, maybe five to ten pounds so that's probably going to be the lowest item for, you know, lowest value item from this haul so yeah Still, it's still okay, you know, it's still a nice little thing, um, but just not very valuable, really. So, next are some slightly earlier pieces, or of what I believe are slightly earlier, um, and the mark seems to be William Larcombe. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his second name, anyway, I'm never good with names. I don't think that's going to actually focus into the mark, but it's like a S and a H with a little cross and a few little dots, and then there's like a little weird squiggly thing at the end of it. Look, sort of looks like a, a Z with a little bit else attached to it. And then a crown above it. But as I said, don't think you'll be able to see that. But these are a little bit earlier. I believe he was his run was from like 1916 to like 1935. Um, so yeah, as I say, you might have a bit more age than the other plates down there that are maybe more 70s. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking... Um, that maybe about £15 each on these. I'll have to do a bit for, bit more research, a little bit further research, but I'm thinking that these, uh, yeah, I think 15 quid each really on these would be would be a good price to go. If I have to come down a little bit, then I have to come down. I don't think that's focusing very well, but hopefully you can see it. Um, but yeah, so quite a nice little set there. I might sell them as a bundle, I might not, but they are slightly different designs. So there's that design, and then there's that design. They, they are different designs, actually, so... Yeah, although the sort of same time period and sort of the same sort of size dish, I might be tempted just to sell them separately anyway. But we'll see. It might be better in a bundle, I'm not sure. And then finally we have this, what was described at the auction as a loving cup. Now, I was thinking when I first saw this, it was a christening cup. Maybe a loving cup is a christening cup, but I'm just not aware of that. So, yeah, if you, you know, if someone knows whether a loving cup is the same as a christening cup, drop it down below, because then that'll further my knowledge anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a loving cup is a different thing, but still quite a nice little item. It's not got hardly any age to it. It's actually produced in 2000 in the millennium. So, um yeah, I, you know, it's not got, like, major age or anything, but I did actually see that one of these has gone without the box for £25, and there's one listed, again, without the box for £40. So I don't quite know where to go on this. I don't know whether to go quite high, obviously, because I've got the box, I don't know whether to go, again, like, in line with that 40 or 45 and just shoot for it and see if I can push that price up quite a bit, or whether it's maybe more realistic to maybe go 30 or 35 so i think maybe 30 or 35 on this just considering i've got the box i think that does give a bit of added value so yeah we'll see on that one i'll, I'll have to uh, sort of price it when i price it kind of thing and just once i'm entering the price out it'll pop into my head and i think yeah i'll go for that but until i get in, into that listing mindset i'm not too sure on price on that one so yeah anyway quite a nice little item though and that is the last item so yeah quite happy with that little haul i spent i don't know whether i told i think i did did i say how much i'd spent anyway if i didn't i said i spent 30 pounds and 26 pence and i believe about 150 pound back and that isn't including postage so i'm quite happy with that that's a really really good margin and uh, yeah quite happy that I, i'll learn a bit more about this stuff as well because obviously when i'm doing more research into this before i list it i'll be i'll be getting a bit more knowledge on uh, the actual company of royal crown derby as well so anyway i'll leave it there guys don't forget put down in the comments what you would like to see in my next video would you like to see brass toys or what was the third thing silver plate so which one of those things would you like to see next time in the the following auction haul so yeah i will see you in the next one guys also don't forget if you haven't already please do subscribe